It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little girl. <coughs> What's up guys, sorry devastation here, if you would hit the like and subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I am accepting... Yes. That's a good name, don't you think? But it <coughs> tell him if he mutes Looks me, like I don't care. Finished the gene projection. <laughs> Let's see what you'll look like when you're up. Okay, getting started with the history of Captain America. Um, I'm gonna start from the beginning with um, Steve Rogers was just a little wimpy kid from uh, I think South Brooklyn, East Brooklyn. I can't remember what part of Brooklyn he was from, but he was from Brooklyn, and he got his ass kicked all the time because he was always go rushing into fights. Uh, when he was full grown, he's probably 98 pounds, soaking wet, you know, fully clothed. <clears throat> and probably with a couple of ball bearings in his pocket, he's fully clothed, 98 pounds. <laughs> well, he tried several times to enlist into the military, into the army, during World War II, but kept getting rejected because of health issues. Um, when he did finally get accepted to, into the military, uh, it's because he signed up for a, a secret program to, um, uh, let's see, he signed up for, for a, uh, science program to test, like, they didn't tell him what they were doing. It was just like to, supposed to be test drugs and stuff. And so it was a top secret program. And then of course as everyone knows it's the super soldier program that he signed up for. Um, he had to go through training in order to, for them to test his abilities before and after the... Um, experiment before the experiment he was probably um like he was real short he was like only four foot nine inches tall <laughs> and after he was injected there was a whole list of candidates going into the super soldier program and uh <clears throat> he wound up being the one chosen to go through well actually they were all chosen but um he um <clears throat> after he got injected with the uh, serum there was a um Russian no it was a Nazi spy that was in it was like a double agent who tried to steal the formula once he saw it worked 
Uh, the f <laughs> the formula actually increased muscle mass and bone density, and after going through the after the um for the super soldier serum was injected into him, his height went from five four foot nine inches to six eleven, and. <clears throat> He weighs roughly 212 pounds after the formula with the muscle mass. Uh, the Nazi spy, I guess you is what they call him, double agent. Um, he destroyed all the research and tried to steal the formula. Of course, Captain America chased him down on foot. Steve Rogers chased him down on foot and stopped him, but <clears throat> he was a soldier for Hydra. And he wound up, uh, had a cyanide capsule in his tooth and took the cyanide capsule and killed him well at the same time Captain America um after that he went and got his iconic costume that was given to him by the uh, US military and he was disliked by many soldiers at the beginning because they didn't think that he deserved to be there and he finally got their respect when they saw him go into battle and he was on the front line and and you know he saved an entire unit single-handedly that was captured by the um Nazis by Red Skull and the Nazis After capturing, um, after freeing them, his, uh, he was also given a shield. His shield is made up of a, depending on which era comic you read, back in the 60s when the comic first came out, or the 50s when the comic first came out, um, it was just vibranium. And the modern comics, it's a, a uh, combination of vibranium, adamantium, both melted down and um, made together into a single, um, you know, to make it stronger. His shield has been broken a couple of times, but we'll get that into detail about that later on. <coughs> uh... After f defeating the Nazis in World War II, he was going up against the Red Skull. He, um, along the way, he uh, took a kid up under his wing to be his, uh, the train and to taught him his fighting moves and st stuff such as that. And, um, when I say a kid, he was the kid, uh, it was, of course, you, as you know, it was Bucky Barnes. Who's um he was like seventeen, eighteen at the time when Captain America saved him from Nazi soldiers and he became pretty much uh became Captain America's sidekick. And <clears throat> well he tried he told um Bucky to stay back during the fight with um Captain America with uh Red Skull who was launching a missile and Captain America climbed aboard the missile to try to stop it from being detonated to disarm it and Bucky followed him and fell from the rocket losing an arm in the process and for years you know, that was the last that you saw of Bucky. 
because Captain everyone thought he was dead but we'll get into that on another time when we talk about the Winter Soldier uh, <clears throat> after disabling the um, rocket Captain America they were over the Arctic and Captain America fell and was frozen fell into the freezing waters waters of the Arctic Ocean and was frozen for 60 years being reawakened in the modern time timeline and when he was reawakened he uh when he was thawed, he was still alive. They found out he was still alive, and he joined the Avengers and began to fight. During the um, Civil War, uh, the Marvel Civil War, Tony Stark um, decided to uh, actually Tony Stark. Got with the um, there you go. My goodness, government and decided and, and shield and said like that they were going to so force super powered like individuals to individual register but their names and superpowers. All superheroes should register the super okay, well. Superhuman well, Registration can... Act and uh. And the pro after doing this, he, um, Captain America was against it from the beginning. He, he didn't, he didn't want, think that individuals should have to, uh, register their powers because he thought it was a, went against their freedom and their civil rights as Americans. And so that's when the Marvel Civil War started, and um, of course, as you, Captain America went into hiding from Shield and from the uh, squad, and tried to uh, you know help individuals that were did not want to register their powers and <clears throat> well about a uh, year into the fight with the Marvel Civil War Captain America looked at the destruction that was being caused from the superhumans fighting each other and decided to turn he turned himself in he surrendered and turned himself in and uh he was going to uh have to face trial and on the way to the courthouse he was shot and killed uh he was shot and killed by carol danvers and i can't remember what button i'm there we go And <clears throat> Captain America died and was, uh, at, when he died, his body, like, evaporated. <laughs> uh, I mean, it you turned quite disintegrated. Um, the cause of this was thought to originally be the super soldier serum once his body died it just burned uh, uh, once he has heart quit beating and quit spreading the um serum through his it, it, the serum just burned up all the cells and he just like melted away into nothing and uh <clears throat> After this, there was no Captain America for a while, and um, America's morals started, uh, their mor 
corpse, I guess, sir. Not their morality, but, um... Yeah, their morality. Yeah, their morale went down, and everybody was like... The superheroes really took took it hard, and... Uh, the Winter Soldier himself, Bucky Barnes, uh, stepped up and took on the mantle of Captain America. I don't and have to tell you how special this became um, Captain America himself. When you turn 10, well, he, you're ready to take on your first out of respect for Steve Rogers. So here you are. Uh, As overseer, I hear of course, this was a, a reformed um, Winter Soldier, instant. reformed Bucky Barnes, after he had been the tomorrow. brainwashing that the <laughs> Hydra had Enjoy your party. did to you're him. Only 10 once. So have fun. Uh, was erased. Oh man, you got he, a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Out of respect for Steve Rogers, he did not wear Captain America's uniform. He wore a altered version of the uniform that he made himself. Happy birthday! <coughs> we surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> the, Your dad was afraid you were on it, to us, but I told him not to worry. Of course, He's as you so know, Bucky Barnes. The, as the Winter Soldier, being that he lost his arm, he got a mechanical arm that replaced it. His uh, left arm is mechanical, and this also made out of a vibranium adamantium combination, but it's built with flexibility, so. Uh, the. Uniform that he wear, Captain America uniform he wears, has the left sleeve cut off so that the arm doesn't lose any reflexi flexibility. And of course, knowing Captain America's fighting style and being trained to use the shield, he um <coughs> is a great <coughs> excuse me. A, he's a great substitute for Captain America. During this time frame, while he's Captain America, he discovers a um, Hydra plot where he go he um, investigates a theory that Captain America is not really dead. That and doing this, he actually discovers you're that welcome. Captain America but really, you're isn't to dead. Most of it. The, the decorations bullets stuff. he was shot with hey, I bet you when they saw him evaporate he didn't really Go evaporate yeah. he was teleporting into an alternate dimension and um <clears throat> they were trying to bring back his body without bringing back his consciousness because the red skull was dying from the super soldier serum that was stolen by the spy they got a altered version of it but it wasn't perfect and it wound up giving <laughs> that's what uh, wound up altering the red skull's face and actually made his skin melt away and made him his hair fall out and it turned him into the red skull and <coughs> Well, at the same time, it was it's also killing him, slowly killing him, and there's no cure for it. And so instead of, um, ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right. Instead Run. of issue fourteen, letting himself die, he no, was going Mr. to bring Hage. back Captain America's body and have his, his consciousness transferred not, into. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Have his consciousness well, transferred into the Captain America's body. We'll talk later, okay? Hello, Brett. Happy I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about Captain America's history. So, eh. Nice. Par Happy birthday, Sonny. <sighs> Enjoying yourself? I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into <coughs> your body. Well, she really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course, the new Captain America, Bucky Barnes, stops this plot and uh, 
Captain America is brought back from the other dimension, consciousness and all, and Bucky Barnes steps down and Steve Rogers becomes Captain America again. <coughs> Excuse me. And he continues to be Captain America for a while. And after, I say another two years or so, he, it really starts to take a toll on him because being sent to the other dimension weakened him. It weakened the super soldier serum that was in his body and it started to deteriorate as well. So he, like, his bone, his healing factor that was caused by the, um, Super Soldier Serum was actually not healing as well, so he um started being hurt a lot. Too much and on her so friendship, he young man. really I'm stepped he overseer, stepped and down, and then and of course the Falcon is. took over as Captain America, and the Falcon is the new Captain America, and. Nice I don't really know much about Are you having that. A nice party? So, ten years old. <coughs> my my my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Uh, of course, there Goodness, is also the storyline where you're waiting for your present, the, um, aren't you? I'm trying to think. Norman Osborn goes out and steals. Tony Stark's Iron Patriot costume, which was made for Captain America, and he goes out and creates the Dark Avengers, and starts, um, recruits Dark Wolverine, Venom, uh, Ares, and there's somebody else, I can't remember who he recruited, but uh, it's been a while since I and if you're not if you don't know Dark Wolverine is actually but um <clears throat> Captain America is not Captain America Dark Wolverine is actually um Wolverine's son it's uh son that he never knew he had and Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your <coughs> speaking your mind. Of course, so you know because you of, of his memory here. issues. So a nice, uh, sweet roll that I bake for and you just he this has morning. all the powers Wolverine has, you. including the claws, the except for his boy. claws no two come out from his knuckles and the other comes out of his wrist. And it's. Uh, but as I said, Cat, um, Norman Osborn tried to take over for Captain America, and Shield was disbanded, and they made a new group called Sword. I can't remember the whole detail. But <clears throat> that's all I really know about Captain America. All the people that have been Captain America that I know of, and <clears throat> I hope y'all enjoyed. The uh, details and let's see. Now we'll get back into playing the game. The first time I played through the game, uh, th this part of the game, I uh, kind of messed up, so I started it over. How about we share it half a minute? You can have it. I don't want to. Sure, but you can have it. Spit on the like sweet roll. Bird cooties. You're going to be sorry you did that. We'll see how tough you are later when the grown ups aren't around. <laughs> always enjoy Come on, my Molly. You always have good ideas. Besides that friend of This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic? Oh my god, stop talking. Yeah, I got one. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting. 
Somebody's supposed to give him something, I can't remember all that, so I'm supposed to keep this a secret. Now go on. I'm sure every How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? La la la. Sure, most people don't give a thought to their Pip Boy as long as it keeps working. Well, anyway, I got this for your birthday. It isn't much, and you probably already have one. But there you go. <laughs> Happy birthday. One else would like a chance to talk to Oh, damn, I think he got pissed off at me. <laughs> but you're such an idiot. Just ignore him. All these people just talk too fucking much. Thanks for coming, Stanley. I know you were busy with the water purifying. <sighs> Everything's fine, I hope. Oh, sure, nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good. I wasn't worried. You can fix any. I see. Wait, hey, where's the fucking sweet roll at? Why can't I eat it? I guess it's not something you can actually use. I'll send him right down. How are you enjoying the party, Mr. Palmer? I help. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. But the decorations, you know. Oh, Let's see. Do we go this way? Oh, we talked to this bitch and Happy she gives birthday, me something. Dearie. My goodness. They sh and now since this La la la. Talk, talk, talk. Thank you. I will treasure it always. Of course. Job. Fucking poem. Do I really look like I need a fucking poem from you, bitch? Come on. You guys can do better than that. You need a good name. Just what I always wanted for my birthday homework. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. You still watching B to Breezy? Or however you pronounce that bullshit? <laughs> Kevin, you know you can change your uh, screen name on there from Lobsters Are Good to your new one. Blah blah blah. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Are you ready for your surprise? Where the fuck did you come from? You, you know? So, what do you think? Want to. Yeah, I got a fucking BB gun. You know, because a BB gun is very useful in a game with radioactive mutants. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks very fucking much. Can I shoot him in the ass? <laughs> well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. 
couldn't have done. You got any other comic book heroes you want to hear about? How do you activate the fucking system on this one? Vats. Never heard of him. Moon Knight? I don't know much about Moon Knight. I'd have to do some research. I can do it tomorrow if you want. That's been... All I know is he's an assassin type deal. Ant-Man? Okay, I can talk about Ant-Man. Good work. He's uh, a one last round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture of the original Hank. Capture the moment. Uh, Ant-Man's Hank Pym. Hey Jonas, get a picture of me with uh, a big game hunter. He's a scientist. He created he actually uh created a particle that would um shrink him or cause him to grow whichever Smile. one he wanted to be. He uh, he's been went by several different names. Of course, Ant Man was the first name he went by. He also went by Giant Man when he refused to shrink for a while. Uh, he went by Goliath, and uh, after he stepped down from being an Avenger, he perfectly healthy sixteen-year-old. So yes, you have to go. Created a new outfit and became the Yellow Jacket. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. And <clears throat> during the Superhuman Registration Act, during the Civil War, he was called Yellow Jacket. And this was after another guy named Scott, which was the one in the movie, stole, broke in and stole the Ant-Man costume. No, you are not. Really. When I started well, no, 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 no. The I suit he has to wear, the, the, the pin particles is what gives him the tests. particle. You'll when he tough. shrinks down, he has tough. the proportionate has to take it when strength 16. as if I had to. he was you have human. To. And so does everyone uh, as if he was full size. It's like the proportionate strength scratch. of an ant. You know, uh, ants can lift 50 times their own body weight. <coughs> and... Take care, son. I got out of here. <coughs> <coughs> and when he shrinks, when he punches somebody, it's like he he's punching them with his full force, but it's like gives super strength. And if good morning, stop. Yeah, if man before class, eh? Yeah, Jonas. but it's actually a little Morning, bit huh? stronger than How's his things? normal human strength because yeah, it's amplified by the suit, I was just going by the, some hydraulics in the arms and stuff. If he I punches to too hard, as he can punch with the... No when he shrinks I'm down and he punches, it, it's the proportionate good. strength as in... Um, Morning. It'll be like him, a bullet, basically. He, if he... Flies at them and hits them too hard, he'll go right through them. As if, you know, he were a bullet. And he's, he before he discovered his strength, he actually killed a couple of people that way. Uh, uh, one of them being a villain. I don't know many of his villains except for maybe Dr. Claw. That's still bothering you. Which, uh... Hey, yes, hey, I, think hey. I don't know much about Dr. Well. Claw except for that he was in uh, Wakanda stealing vibranium when he lost his arm. And he's actually in Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Ultron cuts his arm off. And that's how they show him losing his arm. But he actually created a gun that would use vibranium to create sound waves to that could actually cut through rock and but the regulator on the gun was messed up by Ant-Man and it caused the regulator the gun to backfire and it blew his arm off and he had it and he had it replaced with a another gun but when the suit was stolen by 
uh, uh, Scott, which is the guy's name in the movie. I can't think of uh, his last name. It was Scott, Scott whatever. Scott Jones, I think. Show it to her, the pim particles were still in the suit. You know, it's like a little serum, a vial. The but the pim particles are in the butch. suit, and Let's go into the store room, they Lana. are what I'll actually causes the you know, shrink What's of growth. Daddy's girl gonna cry? <laughs> show it to her, <clears throat> Help! But he winds up, uh... Don't mess with the tunnel. Why don't you mind your own business? <clears throat> Last I checked, uh, you weren't a tunnel snake. Run along, kid, before Butch and I decide you're a problem. Hello, Brett. It doesn't show that you're watching my stream on the counter, but apparently he is. <laughs> and, um... Stay out of this. It's tunnel snake business. Me and Butch, we're just what, having um, some fun with this chick. I don't follow anyone. I mean, like Wally I said, I don't. Uh, I know a little bit about Ant Man, but I never well, really read their comic, his charge? comics. Uh, is that what people are saying? Because it's a load of shit. I know shit, after he discovered that, uh, what? What kind he of shit could is grow. That? No one talks he also that made about another suit for his girlfriend, He's not Janet, the boss of me. Nobody's the and, boss of who me. became his wife, I'm and she here. became Wasp. And she could shrink down and basically had the same proportionate strength and everything. But he made like a uh, blaster for and I say we're done. No, it was basically like a wasp sting. Are you sure? Butch? Um okay. Whatever you say, this isn't over. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine, let's go. Tunnel snakes rule. But I said, Ant Man wasn't really one of my favorite heroes. Uh, Thor, as um, of course you know the son of Odin. His name is Thor Odinson. Because mostly, and you know, of course, Much God of Thunder and Lightning. Snakes rule. He actually winds up um leaving during the superhero either, during uh. During the Civil War, Thor disappears and goes back to Asgard because his father Odin is actually ready to pass Thank away. God, that's over. And Thor has to take up his right for place <laughs> as king know. of the gods, king of Asgard. And while he was away, um, hey, Susie, what's new? Reed well, Richards, Mr. Fantastic, and... Trust me. Tony it Stark really and a couple of other scientists try to, to clone him with a with robotics and wind up creating another Thor that winds up being a psychotic fucking killer and kills several heroes that they were trying to get to register, including the new Goliath. <clears throat> and they had to wind up shutting him down, and it's a whole mess. I recommend y'all reading the uh, Civil War storyline. Didn't work on your dad either, did it? Now, unless you have something uh, else you want to discuss, take a seat and prepare for the 2274 edition of The Goat. Uh, I did mainly research on Captain America for the stream, and... Or actually what I remembered from reading some comics, but uh, like I said, I am taking questions and answers. <laughs> Anything else, Kevin, that you want to know? Sure you will. We'll start Flash. Which one? There's like several different flashes. <laughs> you want to know it from the beginning? Well, I mean, they all run fast. 
<laughs> no talking. And keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Uh, Deloria. He's asking you about the Flash, so, um... Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, <clears throat> let's get started. The one. first Flash, I uh, can't emails, think of I'm his name. put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic <sighs> resonation chamber. He's on the series. He, he, um, was from the Silver Age comics. He couldn't tap into the speed, speed force, but, um, he was, he was fast, but he wasn't extremely fast as, but the second f Flash, which is the main Flash, was Barry Allen, who created, got his powers when he was doing an experiment in his lab, and he was struck by lightning. Question two. While working as an intern, and after being struck by lightning, he went into a coma, and the lightning infused with the chemicals when, when he was struck by the lightning, it caused the chemicals in his lab to explode, and they splashed on him, and the chemicals mixed with the lightning in his bloodstream, which created the speed force and actually caused him to get his super speed. Question three. And um, a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He came out of the coma and you know he discovered that he had a speed and became the Flash and went out helping people and he took on a. Um, s sidekick from the future, a kid came from the future and <clears throat> completely by accident and it was like his nephew from the, f distant nephew from the future and happened to have his powers and he's not as fast as the Flash but he does have some speed and he became Kid Flash. Of course, there's the reverse flash, which is, uh, like I said, I can't think of his name. He's, um, of course, he's a villain, and he got his powers by trying to recreate, by recreating the event that gave, um, Barry Allen his powers, and, of course, he uses his powers to... fight the Flash and try to kill the Flash and at one point the Flash goes back in time because he, he watched his mother die in front of him when he was a kid and he went back in time to try to save his mother and he actually saves his mother which causes the timeline to split and alter and it became the Flashpoint Paradox Question four. Congratulations. and You've made one of the Vault 101 uh, teams. When it altered the timeline, uh, instead of um. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised. Uh, it made it where he didn't. He didn't wind up getting his powers. He didn't do this experiment that gave him his powers. Uh. Batman is not Bruce Wayne. It is uh his father. Thomas Wayne, Thomas Wayne, and instead of when on the night that his parents were killed, instead of Bruce, instead of his parents dying, Bruce is the one that gets shot. This causes his mother to have a nervous breakdown, and his father became Batman, but it's not the same as the Bruce Wayne who swears not to kill. He actually uses pistols and guns and. Old kills Mr. the Batman villains, all except for the Joker, who is actually Martha Wayne, and his mother winds up becoming the Joker, and, you know, from the nervous breakdown, she, like, snaps and becomes the Joker, 
um, Superman, instead of his pod landing in Kansas and being raised by the Kents, his pod is thrown off course and lands in Metropolis. And he's captured by the, uh, the government gets to him first and they lock him away in Star Labs and he's never exposed to yellow sunlight and doesn't have his powers and he's like really weak and I mean it's the Flashpoint Paradox is a really good movie you can should watch it but um <clears throat> he's tortured by the government tortured by the scientists Question seven. and oh no he just like to radiation mutated hand is when he is freed by the flash he uses his powers to instantly kill all of his guards and he flies off and becomes a villain and <clears throat> there's Wonder Woman instead of being you know the righteous hero that she is she's out there killing people as well and like I said, he altered the timeline. It, it, all the heroes became dark, and 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 he remembers the alternate timeline. He remembers the original timeline, and <clears throat> question eight. <coughs> resident is in he winds up uh, Robin, the recreating Issue one. he winds up working with Thomas Wayne What's to the recreate the experiment that originally made him the Flash and he runs back in time again and stops himself from saving his mother's life which fixes the timeline and everything goes back to normal and There's one point in time when he's working with Kid Flash and they're trying to stop uh, a miniature black hole like winds up opening up and because of uh, Dark Side created a black hole in the middle of the city and they were running in the opposite trying to you know, reverse it and cause it to collapse in on itself to save it. And the speed at which they had to run was so fast that Kid Flash, his body couldn't take it and he just evaporated. He ran so fast, he, all of his cells and molecules just like separated and he like basically just evaporated and became nothing. <coughs> Question nine. You decide it would be fun. Uh, sorry, it's taking so long to get through these questions. I'm just sitting there trying to no talk, and I'm not really paying attention to what I'm answering. I'm just uh, question <laughs> ten. making random questions. Who is indisputably the most important person in the world 101? He of course, you don't get to answer this one. It gives you all the same answer. Right? The overseer, the overseer, the overseer. Everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. Infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens uh, to people. That's who pretty fail. much all I know about the Flash. You can uh, have the rest of the day off to celebrate. <coughs> you can actually watch Al Max channel and watch his page. He did an entire freaking documentary over the Flash. And the different people that were the Flash and stuff like that. So, huh. All loyalty inspector. I thought that had been phased out. Decades. And he also did a documentary well, over Dark Claw, like which is actually the happen. merger of uh, Wolverine and Batman, <coughs> where they are merged together into one, one being. Wait, what did he tell I was? 
I missed what he said I was. I'm a guy on the game. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I am. Just be <laughs> if you don't. Not pick. Sneak. Science. I'll take that. Oh, flash. Anything is possible, even an egg. Daddy, Mr. Brock, is here to save you now. Is he? Let me get back so what to work. Are you gonna do now? Selfish and insufficient is just like You need to know this. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! Say, how long have You've I got to wake up! You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. Okay, the first time I accidentally killed the overseer, because I didn't know I wasn't supposed to go into the room, this time I'm going to watch it a little different, and see what happens if I don't kill him. Kill him. He's left... It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my... Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find me. <laughs> but we've got to go now. Not anymore, apparently. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry, but it doesn't Listen, use these Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. Well, okay. Yeah, I let her keep the pistol because I don't want to see what happens if she, um... Meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. I don't know why I took that baseball. Didn't mean to. Something I can sell. Things I can sell. Nothing else in here. Go over here and change my outfit. Sure, I'll wear that too. Weapon, BB gun. I can't remember how to squat. There we go. That's right, there's no sprint in this one. Try to keep from killing anybody, see if I get an achievement for not killing anybody. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in the No, I can't go back in there. It's... it's... This is the overseer. Ah! What's happening? 
me sign of this. I accidentally punched his mom in the head. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. Sweet! He gave me his jacket. <laughs> I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. What's the matter, huh? Mm. Can't stand the sight of your own blood. Who the fuck? Ah. Who the fuck you think you are beating on somebody with a bad turn? Drink with me. Come on, sit down and have a drink with me. I'm sitting down. Give me the drink, damn it. Oh yeah, I got I got a new helmet. If you're wondering why I'm taking all these jumpsuits, I can sell them. That's right, this one won't kill me. How very good to see you. Don't even think about it. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know. What? 
Come on, kid, get out of here before you get us both killed. You're the one everybody's looking for, right? Me and Andy were in a tight spot there, ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. I'm not sure how I could help. There's nasty roaches and gotten my son. Just hold still. Your left stabilizer's been knocked loose. Bob ahead. I didn't find that in the first place or I think I found the problem. I think I'd rather just stay broke submit to any I might have skipped a lot of stuff, but it'll be all right. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. Tom, what? It's me. Tom, be careful! Tom, no! Still showing red. Same here. I told you I don't know anything. Be reasonable, Amat. Officer Mac. See if she makes her parent, her dad, and this other guard get into the cell. He's my friend. I was worried about him. What does he have to do with any of this anyway? Probably nothing. Which is why you need to tell me where he is, so I can talk to him. Watch out, sir. She's got a gun. Amon, where did you get that gun? Just get away from me! I don't want to shoot you, but I will! I swear I will! How dare you threaten me! And with my own gun! I'm your father, damn you, and you show me some respect! Officer Mac, don't just stand there! Don't make me take that gun away from you, girly. Just hand it over. Huh. I <laughs> Buggy as hell. Holy shit, she oh lit that motherfucker up. God, a martyr. What have you done? Okay. 
Make all this money and stuff. Oh my god. I had no idea my father would I, I hadn't I had no choice, Officer Mack. He... Here, take it. I don't want it anymore. I don't know what I'd do if I still had the gun and my father came looking for me. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Sweet, she gave me the gun. She, uh, oh, she's still sitting there. What's in this room? Freaking hack ever. Yeah, I could have just got a key out of his room. Kevin, did I answer any of your questions or did I just pose more? Basically what I'm trying to do is find out if um when you um since you didn't kill her dad, will she go with you? Him up. Shouldn't have wasted that ammo there.
open the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. No, you didn't need it. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for... For, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Uh, there he is! Shit, there's a shitload of them coming. Oh, get up, you dumbass. Go. Oh, I didn't learn anything new. She doesn't come with me. Um. I think that's going to be it for this stream. I uh, hope y'all liked it. Um, if you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know if I missed anything that you thought should have been posted. Um, if I didn't tell anything that should have been told about Captain America or The Flash or... Ant-Man, just leave it in the comments, and uh, let me know what y'all um, think. Xbox, Snap, Twitch. <laughs>